Welcome back to Jay's Jeep and Classic Car Channel. Today we're trying to put the water glass in and see what it does. Join me in the adventures. Okay, so just real quick on this water glass stuff. You're supposed to flush your engine and then you run your engine till it's warmed up. Then you top it back up. You put this stuff in, run it for 20 minutes. Then you drain it. And then you wait about 12 hours and then you flush it. So that's the steps that we'll follow today. Hook this thing up. Hopefully, it'll start right up. So who knows? Gotta take that off. Gotta take this out. The mosquitoes are awful out here right now. There we go, it's starting. We're at 108 right now, the radiator's at 100 or so. So we got a long ways to go. Well, the engine turned off at some point. I was inside for a second. So either ran out of gas, which is a possibility, or something went bad. We're gonna go check the gas and see what happened. There's still gas in there. We're gonna see if it starts up or not. There wasn't a whole lot of gas in there, so I might just need to put some more gas in there. All right, we've checked the oil. We put some more gas in it. Let's see what we can get. Nada. Let's see if we get anything. If not, we're not going to start. There we go. Guess it just ran out of gas. I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna give it a little gas. Let's see what it does. That's really close to what we kind of want. Oh, that says 186. That's probably about what we wanted. So we're going to refill. With it being at 186. Water temp is at 130, which is where it has been. There's a ton more oil in here since I put some more oil in. That's not a good sign. Alright, so this bottle treats six gallons. Mine's two gallons. I want to put about half of it in. Let's see what we get. If, we'll see if this liquid glass does what it's supposed to. I'm going to start it up and run it for at least 20 minutes. I'll set a timer, come back. Sounds are changing for sure. Hopefully that's a good thing, not a bad thing. 
Okay, we're about at the 10 minute mark. Still running. I don't know if you can kind of see that or not. Kind of hard to tell what color that is, but we definitely got smoke in the exhaust. So hopefully this stuff will seal it up. Okay, so we're at 20 minutes. Still getting some smoke out of the exhaust. I don't know if that will stop or not. So it says 20 minutes minimum. I guess I can continue to let it run for a little while. It's not overheating, I, I don't think. Not from my temperature measurements at least. So I guess I'll let it run for a little while. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes. I think I'm going to shut it down and let it cool off. See what we get. Still have sm smoke in my exhaust. I don't know if that's going to go away or not. All right. Let it cool a little bit. Definitely oil in there. I don't know if that bronze stuff moved a whole lot, did it? I was kind of hoping to see a little more. I was hoping not to see that at all. But I don't know what to expect. I don't know if my radiator is getting hot enough for it or what. All right, we're gonna open this thing up. Let's see what we get. All right, here we go. Out it goes. Nothing too spectacular. I guess we'll just let it drain. We're going to let it drain and leave it open overnight. We'll take off some of those pipes and then we'll come back tomorrow morning and flush it out real good. So we'll see what happens in the morning. Good night. All right, it's the next morning and we're going to flush out all that stuff. It's supposed to rain today it's supposed to rain in the next 30 minutes so we're trying to really hurry to get it at least started somewhat and i guess we'll just rain, wear a rain jacket to do the rest of it now you might be asking well why didn't you just replace the head gasket if that's what the problem is well that's a great question well one i wasn't sure it is the head gasket it could be a crack somewhere else two i thought this method might be quicker that if it did work we should be able to work on the carburetor get all that tuned in and then be on the road versus doing the head gasket which would take take a while i think plus i'd have to get parts and all that in so this was the first step if it doesn't work we'll go to the next step so seemed to make sense to me but hey, it is what it is all right first thing up we're going to flush the radiator I have my hose down the radio. We're just going to turn it on a little bit and let it kind of just flow for a little bit. The reason we're doing the radiator first is I didn't want to push all that stuff out the engine. Or through the engine. But it looks like with the top hose being connected, it's flushing out the top end anyway.
Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm just putting it into the water pump and then letting it flow right back out. And then some down through the radiator. Trying to get the oil out as I can. For as much fun as it is playing in the water, I'm not going to do that all day. So we're going to put the hose back on here. Kind of tighten it down quick. And then we're just going to run the hose and let it circulate through. And try to flush out anything else that might be left. Okay, so I just had this thought. Oil floats on water. Oil is lighter than, than water. So all your oil is always going to float to the top. I've always been flushing on the bottom. I don't know why I didn't think about trying to take these off. And flush the oil out off the top end. And just let it float out and out. So that's what we're going to try here. And then we're going to hook up everything and circulate it. But we're going to do that first and see what we get. So I don't have a thermostat in there and that's why this works. If you have a thermostat in there it may not work like this. If you have a thermostat in there it may not work like this. Unless you have the bypass hole and even then it's probably going to be a lot less slow. So just FYI, if it doesn't work for you like that, then that may be why. Whoever had this engine before took the thermostat out. So Okay, so the rain's just started. We put the hose back on. And now we're trying to circulate it through a little bit. And I've got to open this port. what I wanted to do. Let this go down a little bit. I'm also going to look in there. And while there is some floaties, it's not nearly as bad as it was yesterday. That's a great sign. That we're getting this stuff all flushed out of here. All right, so we turned the water off. We're just letting it drain down right now. Under that's my voltage regulator. I covered it up trying to keep it a little dry at least. So after it drains down, we're going to do this whole exercise one more time. At least. Well, we'll see what happens with it all. If it holds or if we have to do more work. But that's how the, this adventure goes. Anyway, it's time to go get dry. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all take care. It's time for supper.